Hello and welcome back. So last time we managed to load or create a notification in our table. So let's see how we can change this into something readable as a notification. So first thing we need to do is create the notification page, of course. So we're going to go to our folder and I'll si simply copy the delete page. Now the reason is uh, the delete page has most of the stuff that we need and this box right here. So I just need to remove what's in here and that should suffice. So copy and paste the delete and rename it to notifications.php. Great. So what we want to do is we want to check if the user is logged in. So I'm going to leave some of this stuff here, user, user. Okay, so I'll leave all that. No need for all this here. Let's see there. Okay, so we won't be posting anything here. So if something was posted, out. And this part right here, out as well. We won't need to create this here. Maybe that we would need, but uh, a little bit later down. Oh, I might leave it there. Let me just uh, delete this. Okay. So we may need to get ourselves a user. So I will duplicate this and I will just say user is equal to new user like that. So post class and user class will be required. So all this is about getting the user's data. So new profile, get profile. I don't think this is actually required here, but whatever, let me leave it there for now. And of course we need to change our title to notifications. Okay, so let's come down here and we're including the header there. That's uh, very nice. And then cover area. I didn't change some of these things, I guess. We won't be needing to submit any forms, so remove the entire form. So let's see what we have left. So here I will change the very end to notifications.php. And there we go. So this looks uh, quite all right to me. But we need to just add something so we can click here instead of having to type notifications up there. So of course, we will go to our header page. Where are you? Header.php. And in my folder, I have a an SVG of a bell. So I will add, I will leave a link to this file in the description, but however, you can just Google uh, the bell, notification bell in SVG format. So mine is named notif.svg. So all I need to do is uh, go to the header and right here before the else statement, let me put it at the very end. I'm going to put an image tag and then say notif.svg, put some styles here. And I'm going to make sure that the width is 25 pixels. And I want it to float to the right because everything is floating to the right here. So why not? So let's see what that gets us. And there we go. That's the black thing up there. 
and one more style margin top let's try 15 pixels yeah maybe too high so let's try 10 pixels okay so if you're looking to change the color of this i definitely agree we should change the color to suit that and that's the beauty of svg that's why i said it should be an svg unless you have a png with the exact color that you want so what i could do is go to my svg drag and drop it in my text editor and as you can see it's just a text file describing the drawing uh, this is just a drawing there's a path here so what you could do you can actually change the color of whatever that is by simply going to let me remove the word wrap here so inside the SVG tag you can add a style but since there's already a style here all I need to do is let me add one say fill that's the color so if I say fill white like so you see that now it has become white but since the background is this color here, what I can do is right click on this and try to adjust the color of that. So where is this uh, color? Okay, so there we go, color white, but I can adjust the color until I find something that looks more attractive or brighter in this situation because notifications should be bright so maybe too yellow but uh, you can be the judge of your own colors so select a color that you want let's go to the fill and replace with a color or you could use photoshop to get the color that you want so when i refresh now you see that um, the color has changed so we can close our notification or these are individual paths so this first path is the top part of the bell and the second one is the bottom part so if you want to change individual colors of these you can still do the same thing just add a style here and put fill with the color that you want all right so back to here what i want to do here is to put this inside a div so let me open that and put it down here actually let's use a span because it's got a property of a display of inline so so that it doesn't disturb the order here there we go so we change a few styles for the span so first of all we're going to change its display to inline block and then we're going to change its position to relative so the reason we are changing the position to relative is because we want to position another box inside it we want to use absolute positioning so we can move it inch by inch so i need this position relative on its parent display inline block the span is displayed as inline originally which means just like text one word after the next so it means it goes next next like this but i want it to act as a single block whilst you are sitting right next to another object because if if the style if the display was block what you would see is this it's going to go on its own line or if it was inline which is the original it will stay like that but uh, I think even that works but the positioning of the object we want to position inside it might not work very well so let me come down here and make a div that we want to use to put a number in there so let me just put number two or number one to show that there's a notification in there so let me do a style here i'm going to have a background color of uh, of red and then the foreground color of uh, probably white then let's add a few more things here 
I'm going to say position absolute. Okay. And then let's go down here. Let's push it down a little bit. The width should be, let's try 15 pixels. Height. 15 pixels okay let's see what that does and let's add border radius so it's round border radius 50 percent some padding a little bit of padding goes a long way four pixels refresh there you go. So the only thing that we need to change, I think, is the font size here. Font size, uh, let's try 12 pixels. Okay, so there's a number in there, that's good. 12 seems a little bit too small, so 13. Uh -huh. But the number is way off here, so maybe I can put... How do I do this? Maybe a space, would that help? No, that doesn't help at all. Okay, so there's padding of four pixels. Let me try and remove that. Oh, I guess it was necessary. So what we can do is just add more padding on the left. So I say padding left. Uh, let's try 10 pixels. Okay, there we go. Maybe eight. Or what we could do is just reduce the... Let me remove that. Just reduce the height and the width to 10 pixels. Let's see how that works. Huh. Not cool. Let's put it back. Okay, we'll have to work with that. But the reason I put the positioning here is so we can actually position it with absolute. So I'll say left, or I'll actually say right, zero pixels, or actually minus 10 pixels. Let's see what that does. Okay, so it moves it to the other side a little bit. Let's try minus 20. Okay, too far. 15. And then one more thing we need is to add this whole thing into a uh, link, just like this. So copy that. That final part. Then this one goes to notifications. Dot PHP fresh now we can click to go to notifications and back but you can spend more time uh, doing more uh, styling on this thing let's see here padding left so maybe instead of increasing the padding left we can do with the padding right and reduce it to zero pixels. Okay. Uh, not really. So anyway, I'll undo this. Put six maybe. Still there's too much space on the other side. And I, I don't get why that is. Or maybe what I can do is just say, uh, instead of doing this, I can say text align. 
and put center. I think that's what I was looking for. Okay, much better. Great. So now let's increase our font to 14. Let's see. Okay, great. So now you have a number there to show how many um, notifications you have. So yeah, I think that is great. Let's put a zero to start with. Okay, so, so far, so good. We have our notification thing there. So let me go back here. There we go. Click back, click. Great. 